Navigating our beloved healthcare system can be maddening. For vets, it can be even more complicated. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo is here to explain. Well, Alan, unfortunately for many veterans, it sometimes can be a complex process just to get benefits. But with veteran service officers on the Sun Coast, that process may be a bit easier. Many local veterans over 50 visit Sarasota's Friendship Center to seek help with health care. Their goal? Looking for insurance companies to get the help they need. Veteran Dwayne Ritchie, who served in the Marine Corps, says he's voiced his concern for better health care. He stresses one of the biggest problems for veterans at this point is the lack of coverage and the eligibility factor. You know, they talk about they're going to offer it but it takes so long for veterans to receive it. Friendship Center clinical coordinator Valerie Britton admits many of these vets who come through the doors need more. They need dental, they need more personalized care, they need somebody to help them into the transition of having insurance and Medicare and private plans and secondaries. They need education and assistance. Some of them getting primary care at the Veterans Center in Sarasota. But it's very small, and it's very hard to get in. Uh, they choose to come here because we can see them sooner, because we can offer them a little bit more personal attention. They're not quite as overwhelmed um, here because there's a very high veteran population in Sarasota. Manatee County Veteran Service Officer Lee Washington says it's also getting better, but believes the eligibility factor is a big problem as well. He tells us not all veterans are able to be enrolled in the health care system. It's ever since 2003 where the income guidelines were tightened up a little bit, for those veterans don't, don't meet those guidelines, say for instance a single veteran right now, their income has to fall below 38000 of the previous calendar year in order to be enrolled, unless they fall in a special category, such as being disabled through the military. Like Vietnam veteran Andy Hooker. Specifically over the last 20 years has, has, has been really good. I'm happy with the care. I had some minor surgery on my back for some cancer they found. Uh, Prior to that, uh, I had to get another stent, put in an artery. Everything worked out really good. He's been in the system since 1972. For him, dealing with the system has been smooth sailing. I think part of the situation also is learning how to navigate the system. You know, knowing what your rights are, knowing what your benefits are. And now with the Republicans' Graham Cassidy health care plan off the table, Washington says he doesn't see any changing for veterans enrolled in the system. It's just like anything else. If they have private health insurance, let's say, VA health care is an addition to that. It doesn't replace it. It doesn't stop a veteran from seeing their own doctors. But when you talk about the affordable health care plan, if a veteran is enrolled in the health care system, it meets that requirement. So I haven't seen anything in the current uh, provisions of the laws that would change that for the veterans, no. Now, Alan, it should be noted that this fiscal year, Manatee County will have served nearly 15,000 veterans directly. All right, Dwayne, thank you.